Hi everyone, this is Kenny here from Profit Stories. So on this afternoon, right, I thought I would like to share with you how I started in real estate and what I'm doing now, what I'm currently uh, doing now, okay, from back then when I first started. Yeah, you see this background is not an AI background because I need to show you some of the things that I've caught, went through, went over the years, especially the notes and seminars and the books that I've read. So if I use AI background, right, you cannot see the items here, okay? So let's start. Uh, I started my job, uh, sales, uh, I do sales because, like I said, I went into sales because of the money. Because someone told me, people tell me sales can earn a lot of money. And I want to earn a lot of money. And I want to retire before I'm 30. So I chose sales. Okay? I chose sales. I worked in 2009. And then I got uh, some money lah for down payment for real estate. But I got, don't have the knowledge. Back then in 2009, the market was crazy, you know. I s people like buy and then when get key, sell double the price. Sell double the price. So as a young chiku, don't know anything. I I'm thirst for knowledge. I want to know how to buy a house. I want to buy a house. I want to get rich. I want to retire. I want to buzz off from the company. Okay. So I was selling um, medicine at the time. My job was to sell medicine to doctors. Uh, GP, I cover GP and pharmacy. Okay, so in that time, in 2009, when I first started, 2009-2010, the knowledge, right, online, especially like videos like this, uh, is very little, very little to nobody, known have. Uh, a lot of information is gatekept. Gatekept here meaning you must go through a paid gatekeeping, like seminar, or you need to join a mastermind, uh, you know, mastermind, or bulk purchase group, uh, then you can get this kind of information, this kind of deal. So that's, exact, that's exactly what I did, okay? I went to many seminars. And this is not just for property. Eh? The gatekeeping right, happens in all the industry. Online business, uh, one more what, uh, stocks. But the most popular was real estate, uh, property. A lot of property guru last time, you, know, you throw one stone, uh, you hit uh, one property guru. Really. The time when times are good, uh, every time uh, show got a lot of property guru. One. Uh, so a lot of things like, Online business, uh, nobody cares. Uh, nobody was wondering what is what is this online business, what is this SEO, nobody knows, including myself. So I got choice. I, I said, hey, real estate and stock seems to be legit. So I, both also I went online. The first online class I went was by this gentleman. Hold on. Uh. Okay. After I read this book. But this gentleman called Milan Doshi. Uh, Milan Doshi. He's now I he's now a certified financial planner. You can find him still on LinkedIn. He's uh, I don't think he does any more uh, real estate seminars. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, this is my first guru. The books are my first guru. People like Milan Doshi. I bought his books. Uh, two books actually. Two books straight away at this. I read his books, everything devolved from cover to cover. Uh, this the queen of the queen of commercial real estate, Miss Vanessa Leong. This, she also used to, to teach a seminar, but her seminar, that time I can't afford. La. The price is too high already, and it's specifically targeted at people who want to invest in commercial properties like shop lots, not for young chiku like me. But I did buy her book and read. La. So after attending the seminar, I bought my first property. Same, la. the moment I attend the seminar, that next month I buy my first property. La. I bought it sub-sale. So you can imagine how hard I actually work. Uh. I really work like my ass off uh, to collect the down payment. Last time, uh, I, don't know, I don't know what is multiple submission. I don't know what is compressed loan. I don't know what is markup. I don't know. You know. So that 10%, I really paid down payment 10% uh, for sub-sales. I screened and save and uh, stay in a small room just to save money to buy this property because I have the calculation, right, I can get like positive, a little bit positive cash flow, I think five or six hundred. So to me, right, wow, one property, five, six hundred. If I got ten, I can retire. That's how I, I think last time. So the moment after I buy the first one, uh, I need to collect money to buy a second one. Uh, last time, 90%, 90%, uh, that's all 90% until year 2011, 20, 2011. I, it doesn't affect me because I really don't know. I don't know about anything about multiple submission at all. Also, I don't know. Okay, so when I attended Milan Doshi's class, I I still have the folder here. 
Uh, this is Mr. Minandoshi's class uh, folder. Uh, they touch, teach a lot of things uh, here about property, about how to see developers, uh, what to do. These are notes. I made some friends also there, and a lot of uh, and one or two of them are still around. But they've moved on. Uh, they moved on to bigger deals. You know, some of them became agent. Some of them became uh, commercial property investors. Some of them become business owners. Uh, they move. They moved on. And uh, frankly speaking, I lost contact with them at uh, the class of 2010. So if any one of you watching this, uh, Milan Doshi class of 2010, can you please uh, get in touch with me? I I so long never see you already, so I want to I want to connect with you all. All right. This is the folder. So the when you attend classes like this, right? It's different from the way we actually learn now. Uh, a lot of this is online. Last time, no such thing as online one. So we learn a lot uh, from people share, people willing to share, and then we learn, you know. And my class at the time, I was seated, I was the youngest at, at the table. I was the youngest. The youngest closest to me was a serial businessman. So he, I think he's about five years or six years older than me only. But at my table, I was the youngest. And everybody was like middle-aged, middle-aged uncles, aunties, and then you can, some of them, once they start sharing, uh, they open their mouth, uh, they like got five, six properties. Uh. So I, I remember there's one auntie you share. Uh. She got ten properties, you know. Then she asked the she asked the trainer, Mr. Milan himself, asked uh, what, what should I do with ten properties? Mr. Milan, the first thing he said, I remember is like he said, Hey, you got ten properties, you come to my class for what? <laughs> he starts she start laughing, you come to here for what? <laughs> Then she, he also got invite um, a very successful property investor to actually share also. Her name is Nancy. Uh, Nancy Wee, I think. Nancy Wee or Nancy Wong, I can't remember. Miss Nancy. She's now a developer. Uh. She is a property developer. She focuses in Satya Alam area. She still is in real estate. She more on selling real estate. And she partner with developers a lot. Um, small, small boutique developers to sell commercial properties. So this is what the, uh, the seminar is like. It was, it was two days. Uh, sorry, it was three days, I think. Uh, so I took leave on Friday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, wow, it was so intense, man. Three days, uh, the whole day, do everything. Then we got uh, even a site visit. That time it was conducted near the Bajaya Times Square, right? So our case study, actual case, uh, study, we were talk we were doing uh, some research uh, on Bajaya Times Square, the shop lots for sale. So our group, right, all of us had to go to Bajaya Times Square and do your own research, on-site research. And then, what we need to do is to do things like real life, uh, you need to call the agents. You need to call the agents and get the information, like price, uh, uh, what, what's, the, what's the rental rate like, uh, uh, who is the one renting, uh, this kind of information. No? So I think my group got like five of us, at, uh, one of the guys called, and then we also walked to Bajaya Times Square together. That was like my first seminar where things is super hands-on. <laughs> it was really fun, you know. Uh, in the class, I think I paid like what, 5000 for this seminar. And the class, I think, got easily, at like, that time, got 50 people easily. So for three days, right, 5000 plus times 50 people is 250000 uh. uh, Don't play play uh, for three days. Uh. You minus off the staff cost, you minus off the rental cost. At the time was at a hotel was okay. And then his previews, his previews are free. I signed up, I read his book, right? His book. Then I went to the free preview. I like all the gurus are doing, uh, they usually will have this size or something for you to give give you to introduce yourself to you. This is a book that introduce, he introduced himself. And then in the book, right, you can find all his uh, other books you want to see, right? I would and other books you want to order, and then they, he, he got all his, uh, he promote his seminar also. This is how they use the book. This is how you use the book, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Especially trainers, consultants, or uh, even what, whatever you want to do, uh, especially you, uh, you want to be a guru or what, it doesn't matter. But this is a very good example of how, how to use a book, to leverage on a book uh, in your ecosystem to sell everything else. Uh, so I found him from the book. I went to his uh, one hour preview, and then I signed up. It was five thousand. Okay. And the way they sell on stage, right? 
I it's it's always really fascinating, you know. I I've been to so many, uh, and yet sometimes like right, the em- environment are uh, very powerful. The environment is the one that can influence you to sign up. So I went for this, and bought my first property, and the rest is history. Uh, okay, I've shared with you all uh, what happened to the first property and I've since sold it last year after 14 years of holding it okay I made some money lah. and I also managed to lose the money if wa- you want to know the full story you can check out my other videos where I share with you okay so after one night I got edited suffice to say that I met so many people that I want to know what are the loopholes what is markup property? What is all this? Uh, I don't know anything. So I went and buy my first one. Then I need to make get to know people. Okay. So I joined more seminars. Oh. The next one I met is someone online. Uh, that was a time when Laoyat was coming up. Laoyat.net. Uh, now now Laoyat.net is still around, but the information a bit noisy lah. A lot of people. So from Laoyat.net, I I met this guy. I'm sure you all know the guru named Mr. Faisal Rizwan. Uh, Mr. Faisal Rizwan, I also went to his uh, seminar. But he started off also with a book, this book. Okay. When this book was started, started off, this is like a revolutionary book. How the heck, before you 30 years old, you got 23 properties? Okay. So he actually built the community. Mr. Faisal Rizwan built a community from his sharing. A lot of sharing is on Lao Yat, right? So he himself is a property investor, so he shared a lot of his insight for free. Then he shared over Te Tare. Then once he launched his book, right, the, the book immediately became a bestseller. That is how you build a community, you know? Back then, these kind of things, are you cannot find online one. Uh, you need some someone who actually walked the road uh, to teach you. Uh, these are real community building. So everybody has the same interest, right? They come and talk together. And then when he launched the book, it, was, it just sold out. Naturally, it leads to progression of him setting up a company and to, for, about, for property investing and to teach people how to invest in property and also get more uh, good properties from a lot of sources. Uh, uh. Started, it can be anything, sub sale, uh, auction, uh, developer, it doesn't matter. Okay? As long as it's a good investable property, they will actually come in to negotiate on your behalf. So they do the finding for you. Okay? So I've attended a few of his class. This is one of it. Okay. Last time I the class, uh, I don't know whether how many of you can remember uh, it's called Sajana Hatana. I think now they rebrand it, but this is how what's the name uh, Sajana Hatana. And I attended not once, uh, a few. A few times. Okay? Uh, because each time I go got a different face. <laughs> Uh, make sure you've got a lot of different face okay and how about stocks actually before buying my first property right, I actually got a look at stocks but back then right stocks doesn't look appealing at all because property uh, immediately the, you sell you get a keys you can sell double the price of. and then stocks uh, is no movement nothing oh then a lot of people actually 1997 if you remember 1997 that time a lot of people got burned the Asian financial crisis a lot of people got burned then a lot of people will tell you hey your stocks very risky uh, stocks very risky that's what I grew up with you know stocks very risky and then when you want to invest in stocks at time right is one lot is 1000 units so imagine today if you take a stock Maybank for example if it's 8 ringgit per share you need 8000 cash uh, to buy that stock you buy margin, uh. you want a GG uh, margin. The thing don't go up, don't go down, you buy a margin. Margin is the one that a lot of people, be- because of margin, a lot of people die. A lot of people got caught and cannot pay. Uh-huh. Okay? But I digress. I still went. This is the one of the classes I went. This is the first stock class I went, Millionaire Investor Program. MIP Batch 13, if I'm not mistaken. Okay? This time, right, the founders, Mr. Ken Chi and Mr. Clive Tan, they just started. They started in Singapore, then they came into Malaysia. I still remember, uh, I went to his preview twice. I went to his class, then I went to his class. I went, I still remember also when he gave a preview in SS2, I am the one that helped to carry his banner down the staircase. Okay? 
Uh, so right now, this company has grown leaps and bounds. It's a financial education company focusing on stocks. Uh, and they got a lot of good programs underneath. This one is the first stock program and it really opened my eyes. They even give like free support, you know. So I attended a lot of free support after that. Uh, but talking about stocks, uh, my progress is not there. La. <laughs> you see, a lot of times uh, when you have a lot of uh, things, uh, a lot of options, uh, you tend to get confused. Uh, that's what happened. I went for this and then I also bought their books. Let me show you. Hold on now. Let me show you their books. So they are an education company, right? This is one of their books. Uh. Uh, I bought this book. Yeah, I bought a lot of others. They got sell a lot of others. But this one is the one that I find the most interesting. I like this. Uh, this guy who wrote this book, Ed Lee, is a lawyer. He's a millionaire lawyer in, by, by investing in Singapore REITs. So that's why he wrote this book. And uh, it, I published it. Okay? So there are a lot. Uh, I've seen this one, uh, Value Investing. The, this, there are five titles here. Yeah, I still have these books. Of course, some of it is outdated, but the techniques and all the fundamentals are still there, okay? Uh. Then, after this, I also got joined another company, started by Bruce Min and Victor Cheng. Uh, this company is called the Dividend Mesh, uh, five, the fifth person, sorry, the fifth person. I still receive emails from them. Uh. I like their emails where they, you can, they actually will attend the AGM of the company actually break down 10 things that they found. Everything easy to, for you to read. You don't need to go and scour the, the annual report. So it started by Rusmin and Victor. And three, and two or three people, I can't remember. But they do have a U YouTube channel and their signature program, Dividend Machine, is also something that I've already signed up for. I ran for their online course and then they got physical course on. If their physical cost, right? Yeah, they are also for Singapore. Huh? Their physical cost, if they come here, if you are a subscriber to their dividend machine program, then you can go for free. So that's I ran once or twice. Uh. Uh, so it was very nice program actually. But you can find them on YouTube. There's a lot of videos. Uh, that is uh, very you know, very informative and something that you can take away and play back for yourself. Okay. And now more guru along the way that teaches us to focus on income then you can invest more is people like and he himself uh, is also a very successful property investor he's still an employee today uh. okay this person this book this book actually will change the way you look at your job if you don't like your job you don't love your job after you read this book hopefully you understand if you don't love your job you need to learn how to love it so that you can invest more Okay, Mr. Mark Chua. Mark Chua himself is the writer of this book who says you can't be rich from 9 to 5. No. Okay? He's still writing, still a prolific writer, and he writes a lot of things uh, with tongue in cheek perspective. So if he really whack, means he whack. Uh, everything is always short and punchy and to the point. Okay? But this is a good book today. So that's it uh, for my real estate journey. So I joined, when I joined the bank, right, I was a medical sales rep. Uh. So I left medical sales rep, I think, 2012. Then 2014, I joined the bank. 2013, I was off work, okay, for one year. And 2014, I joined the bank. Uh, so you can see my capacity, right, my role uh, has changed from an investor. Now I'm a banker because I do mortgages. I thought that I invest in real estate. Uh. So just do mortgages. Uh so you can earn more because my medical sales rep was stagnant I can only like cover one area and how much I do also uh, the sales uh, is only that much in that pool is allocated to me okay so I wanted something which has no income limit so I chose mortgages I do mortgages mortgage sales I don't understand uh, also why I didn't choose real estate or I didn't choose to work for developers I don't know I just must be fit lah. so I was in uh, Banking, then in 2019, I came out of banking, become an agent, a real estate agent, okay? Uh, that is not my first rodeo. I will share with you another, another time, uh, the real estate journey. And 2020, I released my first book. This is my book. This is uh, Tolong Luluskan. 
this book is about housing loan and how to get your housing loan approved, how the bank actually sees the housing loan, you know, evaluate your housing loan, okay? And 2021, I go back to the bank again as a mortgage salesperson because I got no money already and my business failed, uh, my real estate business failed. And real estate, right, since we are on it, uh, so I might as well I just tell you, uh, up until now, I, I failed when I went full time, but before that, right, I actually got do I still am an active investor in real estate, so I do constantly some share some news to people. Up till now, I do have like about I have six clients and there's ten units that I'm managing, ten plus my own one yes one na, eleven na. So what I mean by manage, I don't just sell real estate to these uh, friends, okay? Yeah, you don't need a rent tech to sell under construction. So that's what I did, I sell under construction, okay? Then, until now, they are, this, only these six people, uh, they are free to come and, come and contact me if they need any assistance. So I'm the one that do the research for them, I'm the one that uh, share with them the deal, like what are the calculations like, you know, all these kind of things. And yeah, it's all for free. Uh. Uh, Suffice to say, I'm no longer doing that. Uh, that means these six people is all I'm taking care of. Uh, so they sometimes will ask me my opinions about what is the, the place like, uh, what is the development like. I do, I do. Then they sometimes will ask me like, they have to help with looking for contractors, all these kind of things, property management, or find operators. Operators are usually will come in and then I will check the operator track record and the agreement, all the tenancy agreement, the agent, everything, make sure every lawyers, legal side, make sure everything is in order. So I do everything actually from for A to Z from for my customers. That is the promise I gave them when they buy from me. Uh, but I no longer doing this, uh, so please don't ask me whether you can how you can join this group. Uh, no, no, no more. This this is the last. Uh, I cannot scale uh, with this kind of uh, the attention to detail uh, and this kind of full full service, uh, I cannot scale. Okay, so I talking about scale. I'm now a real estate agent. Yeah, so this year I'm a real estate agent after having left my banking job last year, and I also create contents like this that you what you see in the, the video on real estate. Okay, I've been doing this content since I was a real estate agent back in 2019. Okay, but it's just that I didn't do. I, I honestly I regret I didn't do consistently. If not, who knows what will happen now? Okay, but having said that, uh, 2020 and 2021 was really a tough year. COVID for me as well. I depleted a lot of my I depleted a lot of my savings and then continue bleeding until now and zero, yeah zero. So uh, that is my story lah, or my real estate story of how how much I've learned and my journey. And I can tell you that this is a lifelong journey. Along the way, I've also seen how the market has go up and down and seen new instruments of investment coming up, new ways of making money. This actually is much more exciting to me than real estate now, frankly speaking. Okay? So why am I still in real estate uh, agent? Because now, real estate has become a business. I'm no longer a real estate, just a real estate investor. I'm a real estate business owner. Okay? It's different. Uh, I will explain in another video. Okay. Then, if you are on to a journey, right, you want to follow my journey, I'm documenting my journey on as a real estate agent down here. Uh, this is actually my fourth agency, my fourth time in real estate. I still remember the first time when I joined is part time. I got a rent tag, I joined part time. It's very easy to go get a rent tag, uh, you just need to attend a two day course. Okay? Then I didn't transact anything of uh, one year until the my leader actually called me and say, uh, hi Kenny, uh, like this, uh, you didn't transact like a year earlier. Uh, are you okay? Uh? Would you like to take a break? Uh? <laughs> you know when they say you like would you like to take a break, it's actually a cue, right? Uh, since you are not performing, don't waste my quota. Yes. The rent tag has a quota one. One, one license, uh, one real estate agent license can have about, I think last time was 30, 30 rent numbers under, under them. 
That means you work for this real estate agent. You are a real estate negotiator. Okay? It's a uh, later I'll explain now. Uh, but basically your boss is trying to fire you. <laughs> yes, you contract, but you're eating my quota, you're not performing. Uh, okay. So I left. Oh. Then I joined uh, one agency when I first started. Uh, that time was for screen sub sale. Sub sales who cannot do anything. It's really bad. That time MCO everything is locked down. I joined in 2019, MCO 2020, March. Oh my god. We'll talk about bad luck. Then 2021, I joined a big agency. These two are big agency, eh? both one I'm focusing on subsale and under con and room rental, whatever so I do as long as I can survive. Then when I joined the second agent, the third agency uh, is uh, under con, purely under con. It's a big agency, very, very big agency. Okay, I think if I mention these two names, all of you will know. Uh. Now I'm in a boutique agency, a small agency, where I'm focusing on under con at the moment. Okay, since I just joined, I want to just do one thing at one time. And of course, this kind of videos are, uh, as this kind of videos will help you to get to know me better. And if the vibe is right, and if you like what you see, you want to follow along, just hit the subscribe button. And who knows? Maybe if there is something that you want to know and it's something that suits your need and you're looking for, we can do business. All right? So I think I've said enough. I've shared enough already. I hope to see you in maybe I organize a live meetup with all of you, a community meeting, a small community live meetup somewhere down the road. All right? Until then, this is Kenny here from Probably Stories, and I'll see you again next video. Bye-bye.